Prince Charles devastated why he resents Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle doesn't hide her resentment towards the royal family in a lawsuit against the Daily Mail. Her reproaches touch Prince Charles, who supported her publicly. Meghan Markle attacks the British media by suing the Daily Mail and takes the opportunity to settle their accounts with the royal family. In court documents, we learn that the Duchess of Sussex believes they didn't protect her and doesn't appreciate having received less benefits than the princesses Eugene and Beatrice to the chagrin of Sarah Ferguson, already shaken by the Mexit and the coronavirus and the full crisis management while Prince Andrew is entangled in the Epstein scandal. The royal family is devastated by these accusations. Daily Mirror reporter Russell Myers reported on Queen Elizabeth's disappointment in the part Save the Queen podcast on Thursday, July the 2nd. For him, the monarch has always supported Meghan Markle in the face of criticism. He believes the statements the Queen made about her as a prepared to leave the royal family were always very, very sincere. The Queen impressed by Meghan. The Queen said how impressed she was with Meghan and how she welcomed her into a family. He said Russell Myers takes as an example their first official engagement in Chester in June 2018. Prince Harry's grandmother and the former actress, recently married, had gone to the city of North England together and seemed accomplices. If they were all smiles at the time, it was because they had no idea what would evade them a stormy divorce, media and now legal. Meghan Markle and Harry moved further from the crown. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry recently initialed official documents that further distance them from royalty. Sussex Royal, it's over. At this time, it is good for over. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry officially dissolved their foundation by signing the last necessary documents, reports the Mirror. They will not be able, as so much hope at the outset, to make this name a brand and to market in particular derivative products. Queen Elizabeth II even forbade them to use any iteration of the word Royal. It was part of the agreements between the couple and the monarch when they withdrew from the British royal family. The Sussex Royal Foundation therefore no longer officially exists. One more step. That distances Prince Harry and Meghan Markle from royalty. Why one more step? Well, because in recent weeks, in addition to the distance imposed by the coronavirus pandemic, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have not really made any efforts to get closer to the Queen, Prince Charles, William and Kate Middleton. A biography called Finding Freedom, in which relatives of the Sussex couple make important revelations, risk ending the fire to the powder until archival. Note that if this is the end of Sussex Royal, it is only the beginning of projects by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle who are still working to create their non-profit foundation called archival. Creation takes longer than expected. The United States Patent Office has deemed the non-profit nature of the project too vague. Changes must be made to the file until the administrative concerns are resolved. Meghan and Harry are now focusing on their Travelist ecotourism project launched in 2019 and participating in various charitable actions from the United States.